I bet that 99% of the viewers watching this video will not be able to solve this question. We are given 2 raised to x plus x equals 13. First, use x equals 2, which gives us 2 raised to 2 plus 2 equals 6, which is less than 13. Now, try x equals 3. That gives us 2 raised to 3 plus 3, which is 8 plus 3 equals 11, which is still less than 13. Now try x equals 4. That gives 2 raised to 4 plus 4 equals 16 plus 4 equals 20, which is greater than 13. If we plot this function 2 raised to x plus x, we get this curve. And as you can see, it is an increasing function. That is, the value of this function increases as x increases. Now, if you draw a horizontal line at y equals 13, we can see that both the graphs intersect at only one point. So this means there is only one real solution to our question, and our answer will lie somewhere between 3 and 4. Okay, now to solve it algebraically, take x on the right-hand side to get 2 raised to x equals 13 minus x. Now multiply both sides by 2 raised to the power minus x. This will cancel out the left-hand side and become 1. And we are left with 2 raised to minus x times 13 minus x equals 1. Now, change the order of this thing and write it as minus x plus 13 multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus x. Great. Now suppose we have a function of the form a multiplied by e raised to the power a. And this a can be any expression. It doesn't matter what we write here. For example, we can write 4 multiplied by e raised to the power 4. And now if we apply a w function, which is called the Lambert w function, on this expression, we get the result as a itself. So if we apply this w function here, the result will be Yes, you guessed it right, it will be 4. Amazing. So now let us try to use this w function here on the left side. For that, multiply both sides by 2 raised to the power 13. We will now use a power rule which says that a raised to m times a raised to n equals a raised to power m plus n. So, using this power rule, we get minus x plus 13. Multiplied by this will become 2 raised to the power minus x plus 13 equals. Here we can write 13 as 10 plus 3, and thus it will be 2 raised to the power 10 plus 3. 2 raised to 10 is 1024, and 2 raised to 3 is 8. So this will be 1024 times 8 or 8192. Now you can see that we are getting the same type of expression which is required for this Lambert W function. But we just have to somehow bring E in here, and then we can use the W function. Okay, for that, we know E raised to log of any number is that number itself. So, E raised to the log of 2 equals 2 itself. So this will become minus x plus 13 multiplied by E raised to log 2. Whole raised to the power minus x plus 13 equals 8192. Next, we will use a power rule which says that a raised to m whole raised to n equals a raised to power m times n. So using this power rule, this thing will become minus x plus 13 multiplied by e raised to the power log 2 multiplied by minus x plus 13 equals this right-hand side. Finally, multiply both sides by log 2. Oh, look at this expression. Both of them are now similar where a equals minus x plus 13 times log 2. So now we can use the w function on both sides to get w of this equals w of this. Now don't get scared by this expression. This value is simply a constant number, and therefore the w of this number is also a constant and nothing else. So now this whole left side will be log 2 multiplied by minus x plus 13, right? 
Thus, minus x plus 13 equals w of this number divided by log 2. So x equals 13 minus w of this number divided by log 2. And we are done. You can either leave this expression like this, or we can also find the approximate value of x, which turns out to be around 3.281. And that's it. So now let us verify this by putting it in an online calculator. And look, we got the same result. OK, before we go, let me ask you a similar question so that you can practice this type of problem. Find the value of x if 3 raised to x plus 2 multiplied by x equals 17. Let me know your answer in the comments. So good.